hello and good morning to all. Uh, my name is Sean McKiernan, and it is a great pleasure to join Aparna in co-hosting today's India Day event. It's really what a lovely, beautiful, sunny morning. And it's such a pleasure to see you all gathered here. So when we start now, until 5 o'clock, there is nothing that you want to miss. प्यार बरसाए हमको तरसाए ऐसा कोई साथी हो थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर लिसनिंग एन तुंग न बाघ न तोंग तुंग न तोंग पखवाज दे सावाज जनन जंकार ले उनी स्त्री रूप भुलवी नटरंग 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 जहाँ से अच्छा हिंदुस्तान हमारा हमारा सारे जहाँ से अच्छा हम बुलबुले हैं इसकी ये Point, I am going to invite His Excellency Mr. Akilish Mishra, the Ambassador of India to Ireland, to address the gathering. A warm uh, round of applause and a warm welcome, please, for the Ambassador. Celebrating India's Independence Day in Ireland is truly special. Uh, friends, uh, once again, uh, I wish all the Indians who are uh, in Ireland uh, a very happy, very joyous anniversary of India's Independence Day. As India's ambassador, I'm very proud of the hard work that Indian community uh, is uh, doing in, uh, in Ireland, it, irrespective of the sector they are, irrespective of the part of the Ireland they are. Uh, we, uh, we appreciate their work and we look forward to working together with them. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, everyone, particularly from the audience, that they are here since morning and attending this wonderful event at the different parts of Farmley. <laughs> Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, uh, dignitaries, ambassador, all of the uh, Irish public representatives. Great to be here. My name is Boris Buckley, the chairman of the OPW, and it is the privilege of the Office of Public Works to look after the Phoenix Park and Farmley House and so many other sites on behalf of the Irish government and the Irish people. Uh, and we're very proud, especially on a beautiful day like today, to um, welcome and to host the Ireland India Day today. with you to help celebrate the great bond between Irish and Indian cultures, 
particularly as we're here in the surrounds of uh, Farmley, which is at the end of the Phoenix Park, or the, the Fingal end of the Phoenix Park, I should say. Not a lot of people know that actually we're in Fingal here. The first thing I'd like to say that at a human level, today is a very special celebration. It's a celebration of the friendship between Ireland and India, the personal, individual, and collective friendships, and it's a measure of our mutual respect. I think there's a great opportunity, looking back on the 75 years history of achievement of India, and looking back at the centenary of our own independence. During my 20 years as a senator, I often reflected on and thought about those patriots who went before us and gave us control of our own destiny, our own parliament, and above all the opportunity to achieve our full potential as individuals and as a nation. Family is owned by the people, uh, by you, and so it is really wholly appropriate that on India Day, the grounds of family owned by the state, owned by the people, is thrown open uh, to all nationalities, to Irish and all the other nationalities that have made Ireland their home, but most particularly on this very special day to the people of India. In my time as Minister for Education, I was privileged to visit your wonderful nation, uh, to be in New Delhi, in Mumbai, and in Bangalore, and to see at first hand the cooperation uh, and the extent of the links between Ireland and India. So today is your day, and today I congratulate you on your fight for independence from a big empire. This is one of Ireland's most significant India-related events, a joining together of Irish and Indian culture, which comprises of music, dance, song, food and craft, something which we all enjoy and which we all share. And it's a treat for all of us to be present here today, and I hope we won't delay you too long and get you on and get in, get in and enjoy the day. Namaste, um, dear Gwit. It's really wonderful to see so many people from Dublin and, 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 abroad, and from the whole of Ireland and internationally here today. Um, and I'm delighted that we're celebrating the 8th um, India Day of Celebration, uh, which I always look forward to. It's a celebration of freedom, of Irish-India friendship, and a time to meet and greet people and new friendships. We have an honour of having uh, Mrs. Meena Karuna Nidhi here with us. She is IT architect manager from Bank of Ireland, and his colleague is uh, sorry, her colleague is also accompanying her here. He is Niall Slaughter, and he's a senior compliance manager in Bank of Ireland. So please welcome uh, Meena Karunanidhi from Bank of Ireland. Though I joined Bank of Ireland only last year, I'm proud being a member of Multicultural Network uh, for all our initiatives to enhance ethnic minorities and for all the positive changes we've achieved for, uh, so far. There is a 2,000-year-old popular quote in Tamil on global multiculturalism. Yadum ure, yavarum kelir. This states that whole world is my country and everyone is related to me. I am the great-grandniece <laughs> of Mata Bhagat Singh, who along with his two young allies, Sukhdev and Rajaguru, were hung by the British imperial rulers of India in 1931. They were just 22 and 23 years of age. Bhagat Singh was always inspired by Irish freedom fighters. He read the book by Dan Breen, My Fight for Irish Freedom. He was inspired by the book Principles of Freedom by Terence McSweeney. Bhagat Singh's deep studies also led him to James Connolly. His party, Hindustan Re Socialist Republican Party, takes its lead from Connolly's Irish Socialist Republican Party. Moreover, Ireland and India shared the tricolour flag. To revolutionaries, it motivated to establish a society based on equality, liberty and fraternity. We jointly share these values for the advancement of humanity. 
on the 75th anniversary of Indian independence, let us salute our freedom lovers, the great fighters who dedicate our lives, their lives, sorry, for our better future. Thank you. <laughs>